Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. And uh, now let's talk about the service problems in chapter two. And uh, in, uh, before do we solve the problems, let's draw a picture. So when we read the sentence, it tells us a horse scatters away from its trainer in a straight line. So we draw a picture. It's a straight line. There is a trainer, right? And then it moves 116 meters away in this uh, time, 14 seconds. So then we can write this, uh, the x1, the, it, uh, the distance is covered, and then time taken, t1. It tells us then it turns uh, back. It turns halfway back. So then it turns halfway back in 4.8 seconds. So t2 is 4.8 seconds. And because it turns half away back, so then the distance x2 is just x1 divided by 2. Then it need you to calculate its average speed and then the average velocity. So in these problems, it wants us to distinguish the speed and the velocity. As we talk about, the speed is the distance divided by the time taking, and the velocity is the displacement divided by time taking. Therefore, for the for this situation, we look at what is the distance. First thing from zero trainer moves to zero x one. Then it need to plus x two, right? How much length it covered? X one plus x two. And then when we consider the velocity, it's displacement divided by time taking. And then the displacement only determined by the initial position and the final position, right? We find the distance, displ displacement is from 0 to 0, so we use x1 divided by x2. So in this one, we first say look at average speed, distance divided by time taking, x1 plus x2 divided by t1 plus t2. This is x1 plus x2 is how much uh, length it covered, distance it covered. And then the average velocity is displacement divided by time taking. So initial position, final position, it becomes x1, this one, minus this, this length, so it becomes this part. So x1 minus x2 divided by total time taking. Uh, now, does that make sense to you? That's all. Thank you.